I'm going to start off with priming my eyelids and I'm going to go in with this Tarte Shape Tape Contour Concealer. It is the shade 47S Tan Deep Sand. Now I'm going to work with one eye at a time because this concealer dries pretty fast. For this perfect smoky eye, I will be using the Jaclyn Hill Palette Volume 2. Now you cannot see this, but there you go. And it has so many beautiful shades, you guys. So when I do my smoky eyes, I like to just jump right in. So I'm going to start off with the darkest shade, and that's going to be black. And I'm gonna put that all over my lid. The black in this palette is called Temptress. So I'm gonna dip a really thick brush into there and I'm just gonna start packing this onto my lid. And you wanna keep it as low as possible starting off because you just don't wanna go too crazy too soon you know so I'm gonna work on both eyelids at the same time if you need to do one eye at a time you know that's perfectly fine but I'm just gonna do both eyelids at the same time so for the black you're just keeping it very low on the lid don't worry about it going up too high like when you open your eyes and stuff because you're gonna blend it out with the other shadows anyway. So, and honestly you guys, this is the easiest way to do a smoky eye. The black is gonna go up a little higher, but we're not gonna do that just yet. We're gonna keep it just on the lid. For my next shadow, I kinda need like a dark chocolate brown. So I'm going into the Jaclyn Hill palette. This is the first one. I'm gonna take this one right here. That's how I'm gonna start blending out the black because you don't want to have black all the way from your eyelid to your eyebrow. That's not the point. Okay, so that's starting to blend out. I'm gonna do the same thing on this other eye. I'm gonna go back into the volume two Jaclyn Hill palette. I don't know, you can really go a lot of different ways with the smoky eye. You can either have like a red in your crease or you can just have like a just a plain brown in your crease. You can go different ways with it. So, or purple. Yeah, let's do purple. Yes. I'm gonna take Oh Hello. It's like a violet purple.
So I've just been going in and adding the purple shade into my crease and honestly it's a really nice touch. I'm gonna go back in with the black. I just wanna pack on some more. And then you want to go in and blend that together, of course. Alright, so now that my top of my eye is kind of looking good, I'm going to go in and do the bottom of my eyes. And I always like to do something on my bottom eyes because it just brings the whole look together. Like, this just looks incomplete, you know, incomplete, undone not finished you know I don't know what else I could say first I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna use some of the black eyeshadow and I'm just gonna go absolutely super close to my waterline and I'm just gonna sweep this on the bottom So now that I've done that, I'm going to go in with the Jaclyn Hill Volume 2 palette with that Oh Hello color, the purple, and I'm going to pop that under the black and just blend that out. So as you can see that the eyeshadow on the bottom really does make a difference. Now I'm going to take the Bling Boss eyeshadow palette. This is the Jaclyn Hill, the Vault palette. I know you can't see it because it's white, but that's what I'm taking. Everything will be in the description box. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to pop this in my tear duct. So next I'm gonna go in and highlight my brow bone. I'm gonna do this with the bling bling shade that I just did on my tear dot and also the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette, the shade Vermeer, which is like a really sparkly pink. doing that you want to definitely go back in with the purple just blend that out some more and make sure it's noticeable just make sure both colors are noticeable now I'll probably just go back and forth I'm just gonna oh, like kind of overextend it a little bit, drag it out to my temple. This is kind of the look I want to create. Do what you want to do if you want to stop here. Stop here. So now I'm just going to pop on some mascara on my lashes and then I'm going to do my Lily Lashes. These are the Miami, 
Miami lashes. So now that you've watched me boom, create this eye makeup, I am now just going to add some finishing touches and I will be right back. Okay y'all, so I just went ahead and finished the rest of my makeup as you can see. So I did my lashes and my lip and I did my blush and my highlight. So if you wanna know what I use on the rest of my face, then definitely check the description box down below. I'll let you know what my blush and highlight is and my lip. If you wanna see what I used on my foundation and highlighting and contouring and stuff like that, then I will link that video down in the description box. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think about the makeup look and if you would rock it. Let me know if you try to recreate it. Share some pictures below. And also follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Those will be down in the description box at Fatima Maya 3 Also subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed. That way you'll be notified on the next time that I post so you won't miss a video from me. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day and I will see you next time. Bye.